based on your last drive, yeah. where do you see yourself being at the end of today? I think, I think I've got like the most part of driving. What what would you say on that? In terms of like, um, like where I am at my driving, and maybe doing like some removers and maybe, yeah, break it up a bit. Yeah, we're getting on really well with the driving side of it, aren't we? Yeah, because I've. I went out last night in my car with my mum. Did you? Yeah. So. How have you been getting on with, I presume you've been doing much of the same as to where we left off kind of thing, in terms of faster driving and overtake, have you been doing bits of that? Or have you literally just been driving to and from and it's just been... Um, last night I just went out for a drive, we did, drove in through town and then we, it was uh, dual carriageway back home, so I did a bit of everything. And you're getting on okay with everything, is there any issues? Yeah. Um, no, I think, you know, I don't know if it's just last night, um, but my mum said the driving's going really well, it's just the indicating, like, sometimes I leave it a bit late, mm. but I don't know whether that was because she gave me enough time to say where we're going or got you. what we were doing. <laughs> got you. Could be a factor. It could be either, so. <clears throat> Okay. Any, spe uh, what specific scenario was it so I can keep my eye out for it today? Obviously. It was just, it was just like either late signalling or even like hesitating to signal sometimes. Oh, so is it one of them where your fingers hovering? Yeah, so people I'm like do that. that. Yeah. And then, or even like then, sometimes I just like some roundabouts, they're they're laned roundabouts and they're controlled lights. Yeah. I think on those, I'm like I'm in a lane. I don't, I'm not. Like, I'm not changing lanes, I don't need to indicate, but my mum said if you don't really know to, just indicate. Is it, do you mean like those spiral roundabouts where you just follow? Yeah, the one near the hospital, <coughs> for example, Derby Hospital. Got you. Yeah, the sort of lanes do move across a bit there, don't they? And it's because there's more than two of them. Yeah. Um, all right, well, would you like to have a look at some of those today then, as well? Or do you want to keep it sort of... Um, I mean, what, what, what do you think is going to be best for you? Do you want to recap what you've been doing with your mum? Pick up where we left off last time. Do uh, Add some manoeuvres in. Or a bit of both. How do you feel? I think a bit of both would be good. Like, sort of start where we finished last <coughs> lesson. Yeah. And then end up doing some manoeuvres. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So if we use that as a means of getting to where, we want, where we're going to yeah. do the manoeuvre... Yeah. And then take it from there. Any preferences to the manoeuvre, Jack? What would you suggest? We've got we've got Bay Park, and that's driving in forwards to a bay and reversing out. We've got pull up on the right and reverse back, and we've got parallel parking. We've also got emergency stop. Have we done emergency stop before? That might be a nice little one to start with. Yeah, I think Bay parking. I think obviously <coughs> driving in forwards fairly easy. I think. Um, or reverse. I bet out. you've done that a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah, because I'll park my car in my garage as well. Oh, and so you. So it's like, because it's a double, but half of it's full of like stuff I'm already moved in, so it's quite a narrow gap. Yeah. So I kind of had, I've got used to the width of my car now. Yeah. Um, so I've done that, and then obviously reversing out. Um, okay. And you revert, do you drive in forwards to your garage? You do? Yeah. What would you like to start with then, with your manoeuvres? <coughs> Any preference? I can decide for you if you want, but if, if you want to take the lead and... I think... Maybe I'd look at Parallel. Parallel Park. Park. Mm, that's probably one of the hardest ones, isn't it? Sounds good. <coughs> Sounds good, yeah. Okay. Um, so what would be a good goal for you to... A good milestone for you to reach today, do you think? Based on what we've just said. Continuing where we left off, and the Parallel Park. To correctly do a parallel park um, I think it would be my main goal to do yeah um, end up end up looking something like parked mm, yeah <laughs> not parallel, like not yeah. like you've nicked it and dumped yeah. it <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine but uh, I've got loads of tools and different things I can help you with with that <clears throat> um, the faster driving is there anything I can help you with that you're aware of to get going you know any bits we talked over last lesson I think I'm aware to look out for your signals and timing but anything else yeah I think 
last lesson it was just on the overtaking like get up to speed before you overtake if that makes sense yeah I think it was my main thing so I, I came out and then I went no I didn't like go and then sort of make it all into one I just did it in separate parts I've got you so sometimes as you're checking you might already think it's clear you get your foot down then mm. and then you do your last check your foot's still down mm. and you just keep increasing the speed all the way out that's if you're not at 70 if you're at 70 of course you just maintain it you just yeah. don't come off that's the trick yeah. so are you doing are you are you coming off still or is it just here and there or is it just something you want to keep the eye on and it's generally just okay just something to keep your eye on All right. I think I think I've got that, that in my head now so I know yeah I know when I'm overtaken to just okay remember to do it okay alright that sounds good to me anything else can help you with before we get started anything else you want to go over I don't think so okay so if you want to continue just set yourself up we'll finish off and then We'll drive everything on. Done all the mirrors. Okay. What about that um, minimising the event of, or minimising spinal injury and stuff like that in the event of a crash? What would you do? Headrest. That's it. Busting the headrest. That's it. Bang on. <clears throat> nice one. Okay. So when you're ready, Jack. We'll drive on. Not sure which way yet. I, I think you're trying yeah, to work I'll be, it out I'll as well. Yeah, I've been watching that. I was like, yeah. I think well. we've just got we know just clearing the space. Yeah. Maybe well, better to go now before it, they come back out again. Before the next delivery comes. Okay. When you're ready, then we'll get going. You still enjoying your car, then? Yeah. I'm getting there now. Fan reverse. <laughs> Got it today. Yeah. Why do people walk on the car park instead of Why do people walk? Walk in the car park instead of like. I don't know, I think they just fancy getting run over. Not a bad idea, is it? You get run over on a Friday, just, you know. <laughs> it's weird though, it's like a, like a magnet. Just draws people in. Yeah. I think a lot of the time just people aren't thinking, are they? <clears throat> Do give a signal here, because he's waiting there. Look, he could step off, he needs to know. And there is giveaway lines after all. I'm not sure what they're doing over there. They're busy though, aren't they, every week? Couldn't we pull off? They're in a uh, new platform in the station, yeah. Big job, that, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, then, so what we'll do is we'll turn left, please, first exit. I've always been practicing my mirrors as well, so like. Well, that was bang on then. Yeah. Back on the steering wheel, don't you worry about that indicator. Because you can always get to it. Don't, don't even think about that. See? So, you, might, you might be creating extra work for yourself. Or, or thinking about things that you could be thinking about something else that's more beneficial. But you're not the first and you're not the last to do that. The hovering finger above the indicator stick, yeah? <laughs> It's all good. I don't see the point in that they've hit 40 and they put it straight to the 30 straight after over the bridge. Well, that's just a repeater like all the Pride Park apart from a couple of streets of the 40s. So they're back there, they're just repeating it. Oh. So what we're gonna do, um, when it's available, if you could get into the lane two down here and just follow lane two all the way ahead. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Any plans for the weekend, Jack? I think Saturday we're just um, uh, just doing the. Uh, Do you need to 
Yes. Yeah. Good. You doing a fence? Yeah, because the... You know that storm we had the other week? Mm. Was, yeah, our fence blew down. Oh, and it was dead windy. I thought it was going to burn my roof off, but I did. Woke well, me up in the night. Surprise, ours didn't. I was thinking, I was thinking, them tiles are going to come off and I'm going to have to replace them. <laughs> which I really didn't want to do. Yeah, so we took the fence out in one day, which was quite an achievement. Did but, you? But it was... Just ripped the old one out? Yeah, but there was concrete plates at the bottom, so we had to... Oh. Like the next weekend or something, when it stops raining, we um, got all the concrete out. And so this uh, Saturday, we're trying to put the fence back. Fair play. When do you think we'll be next? What now? When do you think we're we going to be after these guys? Do you think? Because if we are, it's yeah. worth just getting. Because particularly because we're first in the queue. That's it. So you're in lane two, yeah? You're just following that. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Just saying that because it can be a bit confusing there for, for, yeah. for you know for others as well around you. Now this is a bit of a funny one. I just follow lane two for now, but the left hand lane normally gets very congested because they're coming off for Chatterston. Oh, okay. So depending on the time of day, I tend to stay in this lane. This time of day, you could probably get into the left-hand lane. So, as you're going forward, if it's if it's clear, then uh, look to get in. Try and keep your speed up a bit more and position right. And so you're not hugging too close to the middle. Then a bit more speed, a bit more steer right a bit, so you're more centre of this lane. And so, so normally traffic's backing up back to here because they're coming they're coming off this section. Um, but it's not so bad in midday and stuff, you know. So you just got to sometimes with lanes. We talked about this last lesson. Depend on the time of day. Yeah. That's just a decision. So just following the A52 upwards, okay. Anything behind? So it's about, got about another five, six miles yet before we come off, but I will remind you, so don't worry. But until then and now, if you could just look to make good progress yeah. uh, based on the road, you know, the, the legal limit and the traffic conditions, that'd be great. ITB contacted me about um, asking me my opinions on traffic in Derby. Uh, you know when they contacted me, they hadn't done none of this. There weren't any traffic in Derby. Now there's tons of it. Yeah. If they contact me now, I'll have something to say. I said, I said to be honest with you, I, I can't, I can't lie and make up a story like I don't. It's there's nothing wrong with it at the moment. <laughs> traffic everywhere now. Isn't there? Uh, sorry, roadworks. Yeah. You know, be, traffic because of roadworks. So 
sorry. This wasn't all here last week. It's they're, they're cracking on quite a bit with it. It seems. <clears throat> yeah. Unlike um, rain tide, they're actually working the day down here. I don't know what they're doing down Rainsworth. That's been 40 for ages. Apart from one week where they took it back and then it put it back down to 40. Yeah. You're doing a good job with your speed limit and your road positioning. I know it's quite tricky to stick at 40. Well, then again, we're not that many whiz by. But you generally do, don't you? You still get the ones doing 70. Yeah. Fair question. I used to think the same. When you know, when I was younger, uh, like so, determine how you know. Just one person might say, "Oh, I start speeding up here." The other, bit, bit further back, or there's no dead set. Then it's not the same for everybody. Yeah, we went to Birmingham not long back. Went to the Sea Life Centre. Just a slip. Well, one of them fell asleep, and then the other one was just a bit tired and everything. So, <laughs> I wondered why we got in the end, but no, it was good. It was a good day in the end. Went for a meal and stuff. Justifiable to be sat here at 60, really, or 59, whatever it is. I think the reason I was doing it was maintaining the gap between me and the car in front. Yeah, which is very, very good. And also, that's why I didn't say anything straight away because you had loads of cars passing you, didn't you? Yeah. So you did an excellent job of holding the, you know, holding the position. Keep the signal on until uh, you finish. You shouldn't have cancelled it till come to centre of your lane. Now, you to finish your manoeuvre now, oh. centre of the lane, cancel the signal. Yeah. If you give extra information that isn't confusing, it's no problem. Oh. You're just going to alert other drivers, make them more conscious about what you do. sit at about 65 for some reason and these are aren't they and then fingers back on the steering wheel fantastic by 
by doing that it'll stop you from just trying to cancel it. So how long till Long Eaton exit, Jack? One and a half One point two. A half a mile. It's a half a mile? Yeah. You might have just misread it. Yeah, see, there's a big one and then there's a little two, so I thought it was one point two. Well here's a three hundred yard marker look. Yeah. So I guess in probably half a mile so okay. we're going to uh, follow for Long Eaton okay so if we give a signal because we should give a signal really at the 300 yard marker don't break here there's a really long slip road I shown from that diagram now we know the big stick off and it's a right turn so which side of the slip road are you going to go to straight away yeah good and would you agree it's a right turn what number exit is it Don't worry too much about the number exits on these big ones because we can use road signs and marking. So this is a, a big spiral roundabout where it moves you outwards, a bit like what you were talking about earlier. Oh. Do you want any help with uh, the lanes? Touch down, restart. Don't break. You're in the correct lane at the moment then? Yeah. yeah. What lane's it gonna be, Jack? Jack? Eight. So middle lane. You've got it. Well done. No signal needed. Oh. If you do, they'll think you want to do what? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you just naturally made it across. All you do is all that good stuff you was doing with the mirrors, okay. just to make sure nobody else is getting it wrong. Now we need to look at lanes and lines and signs. So I'm glad to see you backing off from this big uh, truck. Not so, eight, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That's it, good. And then a left signal here. So what lane did we start in? The right hand lane. And we went to the from there it went to the middle. And from the middle it went to the left. And we're ready to exit, aren't we safely? Okay. See how it works? Yeah, so it's literally you're working away yeah. sort of in to our line. Yeah. Does that help with your understanding of the lanes moving across, do you think? Yeah. Any questions about that? So if you went on that one by yourself to be able to think, oh yeah, it's one of these, and follow it round without any... If you do miss a spiral though, you can always change lanes, can't you? Yeah. So it's not the end of the world. Signs for Long Eaton as we come down this hill, please. Yeah. Signs for Long Eaton. Progress. Okay, so keep up with the speed. Yeah. Okay. And 
also just think about lane positioning. Honey had to tell you once and then you just bang on it. Keep centre of the lane. Your lane. Yeah. <laughs> Not their lane. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be very good. TVR. Do you like TVRs? Yeah. We'll take a right at the roundabout please Jack. It'll uh, be your uh, third exit. A little bit earlier on the break. That's it. Well done. You know when you braked earlier behind that say out lead, that say out Ibiza FR, yeah. that white one, <clears throat> when they approached that mini roundabout and you said, oh that was a bit, what do you say, it's a bit close yeah, or something I, like that. It's because I I don't know if it's where I'm because I'm driving two cars, I'm getting used to the brakes on different ones. Could be. Um, whether or it's just because I'm going at higher speed or not. It's probably getting used to the, to adjusting to the higher speed and slowing down. Yeah. You know what you need to do? So you haven't got to do all the braking at the end, which can be quite harsh feeling if you do it all at the end. Yeah. Rather than do it all in one space of time. Spread it out over a longer space of time and get more squeeze on the brake earlier rather than at the end. Does that make sense of the time? So when you come to a stop, it isn't you're not gonna feel it, it's not gonna pull you forward in your seat. It should never it should never make you do this. Yeah. That's what you're doing, you'll see you braking and you do go forward. So your, your distance is fantastic here, well done. No. When that bus pulls in we're gonna be dead easy, aren't we, to get around. Sorry, Jack, you were saying. I know, it's just, yeah, you want it to be all smooth mm. instead of just one yeah. harsh moment. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because the car behind could just follow your, mirror your actions, couldn't it? Yeah. If you brake harsh and it's meant to, yeah. keyword meant to, yeah. <laughs> you get my drift. sideways if it gets scared so definitely need enough room for him for it to turn sideways unpredictable aren't they they're not like a bike where the riders in full control of the bike well unless they fall off they could also go back on their legs as well mm. stand up mm. so you won't get too close behind them then to ride two abreast like that as well. In case you're wondering. For a second I thought the fact that they're gonna move out past that Silver Fiesta could be a problem, but you sort of held the line fairly well there. Yeah. I guess you were aware of that. Yeah, I was watching. And then you had a cyclist the other side. <laughs> Didn't we? So you had it all going on there. Double whammy. Yeah. Well, the daffodils are coming up. Is it spring now? 
fish later. I was saying to somebody yesterday, I can't remember if it's spring or first in February spring or was it later? It was warm than later. Yeah, he's yeah. staying lighter as well, like five o'clock, he's still light now. I hate winter. Well, there's sort of something about the sun, isn't it? There's something about what it does to us it makes you feel good. It's got, is it vitamin D or vitamin yeah, I think so, I think it's vitamin D. Speed back up there, making progress. Don't want that four before. 
So if you anticipate coming off the gas, slowing down, braking, because yeah. there's, there's a developing hazard in front, yeah. first thing is the centre mirror. What's behind me? How close is it? Um. Is that something you're actively thinking of at the moment, would you say? Yes and no. Okay. Do you want me to help you with it? or?
sometimes you need to. Auto cancel doesn't always work if the steering wheel hasn't completely come back to yeah. straight. If you're still on the bend, you could be, there could be junction still on the bend, and because you haven't steered off or took the steering off, it stays on. So sometimes yeah, you do have to. Do you anticipate anything here? straight ahead at the roundabout. Straight ahead, so you won't need that indicator yet.
car, leaving yourself plenty of room to get back out. On the left. Fantastic. And there was nobody to benefit from a signal, was there? No. I get a load of comments about that on the YouTube. <coughs> People saying, oh, no signal, no signal. Because they're, they're being taught to signal every time. Uh, yeah, you can pop it off if you want. So, how are you feeling? I think it's, it's gone well. Um, yeah, I'd agree with that. I think the things that you say that I can improve on, I think, well, I agree with. Mm -hmm. um, I think that will come down to um, just practice, I think. Yeah. Just okay. Keeping up with the speed and keeping up to date with the roads. Um, but yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's gone well so far. And how do you feel in terms of what you told me at the beginning? Um, signal timing. How has that been? Because I've not noticed. I don't know. I've definitely tried to remember it in my head today. Like, signal earlier. But I don't know whether it was either. Because my indicators are really quiet in my car. You can't hear them. Um, mm. where you sit and you can really see him. Mm. Um, yeah. So I don't know whether Mum was thought I wasn't signalling, but I was. Okay. Um, or I, I don't know. Um, what she can do, if you if you if you wanted to be more observant, she can use a technique called eyes, hands, feet. So when she gives you an instruction, she watches your eyes for the mirrors. She's watching your hands for the indicator. And then she's watching you and the, the gears, but that's later on. And then she's watching your feet for coming off the gas, covering the brake, covering the clutch, starting to brake, clutch down, selecting the gear. So it's like a tick list so that she's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it might help, might not. Don't want to give any lectures or anything. But, you know, if, if you think she's not, if she's missing it, that's what you can use. All right. If I did instructor training, that's a technique I'd teach. That's what I use with you. Okay. When I give you an instruction, I sound speak. Okay. Uh, what was the other thing you said? You said signals, the timing of signals, and something else I was looking out for, wasn't it? I did it in my head just, I'm sure I did. Or was that it? That was it, I think. Huh. Signals. Oh, no, I think it was just keep out of the speed, wasn't it? I think what it was. I don't think we mentioned that though, did we, at the beginning? Don't worry. If it's not if it's not already there, then it's obviously not as much of a thing. It's not a thing, really. Um, okay, so we're not going to use a silver car now, are we? Because um, we can see what's going to happen. Who's going to use a silver car for the parallel park? So, what we might have to do is just go around the block and use the Black Fiesta behind us, maybe, or something around the corner. Now, if you watch the Parallel Park tutorial on my channel. Yeah, I watched one, yeah. Or was it Bay yeah. Park? Cause there's, there's a yeah, few. it is Parallel Park, definitely. Cause yeah. I think the, the thing I think I remember you saying was get yourself lined up with the car and as you're going back, isn't it a little sort of like halfway with the car and you, you sort of put a full lock on to angle yourself in mm. and sort of once you're about to hit the curb you sort of turn full lock on right so your front of the car can get in as well yeah yeah the <clears throat> you basically yeah um, the, but you don't wait till you're halfway past the car because if you have to park in real life you'd miss it you wouldn't miss it, sorry. You wouldn't get in a real, a realistic space. You know, if you had to park in between two. On the test, you'll only have to be park. You, there'll be a, an, a car in front, such as like what was just in front, and then you'll just have to land within two cars' lengths. Okay. All right, and that's that's it. But obviously, I want to train you with a train you to use a method that will work in real life as well. Or else the yeah. whole thing's pointless. Really. Yeah, you'll pass your test, but you, you want to be uh, yeah. half decent, don't you? Not. Because some people are, uh, well, I just know some people that are like embarrassed about it and can't do it and tend to be older people, really. Yeah. But, 
So it's a good skill to learn. Yeah, it is. Um, it teaches you much more than parallel parking. It teaches you to just operate near and close to cars and where to look and the speeds that you mm. need. And so, what do you want to do, Jack? Do you want me to um, demonstrate and show you, or do you want me to guide you through, or do you want to give it a go and work from that? How's what's going to work best for you? Do you think, Jack? I think I don't. I don't really know, really. Um, I think I think it'd be good for me to have a go, and mm. then if I don't sort of get it, you could show me. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. What would you suggest? That's fine. Yeah. So, you know, I, I I'll. So, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just speak up if something's not quite? If I feel you've missed something that could be detrimental, to, detrimental. If I feel you've missed something in terms of the accuracy, and I know it's going to go way off, do you want me to tell you, or do you want me to see if you can work it out first and and discuss it at the end? I think yeah, if you could yeah, like say something if I've done it wrong or sort of place myself in the wrong place. As we do in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just like and also like guide me through it, obviously. I've never done it before. Oh, so you do want me to guide you through it? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to just give it a go? No. By yourself? You want me to go? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Me so follow instruction? Yeah. Okay. Please. All right, fair enough. Um, okay, so let's go off and look for somewhere to do it. So drive them when you're ready. We was going to use this one. Obviously, yeah. it's gone now. signal like a robot watching this video the point is Jack's properly looked around and observed he's not just looked he's actually analyzed what he's seen in his mirrors and when he's all around so therefore he knows for a fact there's no reason for that signal but the point is it makes him look properly every time and not be reliant on the actual signal itself here because on the on your te you know I want to do it I want to give you everything you need because on the test you're not going to pull up just along you know in real life if you had to park in a gap and you pull up alongside and come in and reverse you wouldn't pull up then move out would you but no. but really on the test they want to see your judgment in terms of everything you when you move out from here you know are you going to do it when a car's coming because if you are that's not going to be very good because no. you're going to block the road up blatantly aren't you knowing something's coming yeah. if you're already positioned to start the manoeuvre and then something comes or turns in from the, 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 the road in front. Different story then. Are you with me? Yeah. All right. So, should we get into it? Any questions before we start? No. All right. So, prepare in the normal way, and then we're going to want you to pull up alongside the van. That's a, probably about this much gap between the door mirrors. Fairly close. Fairly close. Yeah. You know? And then uh, I want you to pull just past the uh, vehicle and stop with your tyres straight, the car pointing towards 12 o'clock, the cream house for example, yeah. bang on, straight into reverse, handbrake on, straight into reverse giving a signal with those white reverse lights, so anything coming down behind or turning out the junction behind us, no, coming straight away, back. yeah, and they're going to give us some space, alright, right. so when you're ready, that's all we'll do. I'll give you reminders as we go if you need, okay? So 
clutch down, let it roll. Fantastic there, that's good. Good stuff, straight with the white lights. Handbrake on and set feet for the gradient. Before we get going, Jack, just pop that left door mirror so it's facing downwards. Not all the way on the floor, but just off. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Bit more, hold it. There, bit more. Bit more, bit more, bit more, there. Done. Well, we're going to use that in a bit for the kerb, so we, we can see it a bit earlier, because we've got a left kerb on the left side. Okay, so, so you, I think your feet are ready, aren't they there? Seem fairly good. Observe from the right shoulder and work your way around to the left, direction of travel, looking at the back screen. Clear to go, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so handbrake off. Keep it real slow. Bit slower. There. Now, when you, the back end of our car gets level with the end of that vehicle, no matter whether it's backwards or forwards, we're going to full left lock. Would you say it's there now? Yeah. Yeah, so check your right shoulder, full lock on, and it's clear to swing out from that right shoulder check, would you say, when yeah, you checked it? Oh, no. Stop then. Because it might decide to go past us. If it doesn't, and it's waiting, we'll continue. Are you happy? Yeah. And look over the shoulder for yourself? Good. Now, when we get to one o'clock, which is about here, because yeah. we start at 12, make your tyres straight, Jack. Good, hold that. Your speed's fantastic. And now, when the door handle looks like it's sat on top of the kerb stone, yeah. we're gonna full right lock, but not until. Don't forget, keep your tyres straight for now. Don't forget to be looking in the direction of travel. I'm glad you had a, a double check on that van. It's still waiting, isn't it? Yeah. And there's nothing in front. It's on it now. It's Good stuff. Good. So if you full, fantastic. Good, looking good. And the big thing here is your speed is fantastic. Just as we become parallel, we'll take it off. Not yet, not yet, because that's still a bit triangular in that gap in the door mirror. And then there, as you're going, as you're edging backwards, take because your tyres are locked now. If you were to reverse, when you jump back in the car later, you go off in a direction you're not anticipating. So tyres straight as you're moving, half and a full one. There. Job done. We even avoided the driveway. Nina. <laughs> it's alright though, we just it's just a, an exercise, isn't it? We're not sort of purposely looking to park. Okay. It's as easy as that, Jack. <laughs> you made it look easy anyway. How did you find it? Do you know what? That was actually a lot easier than I thought. I think it's a really good structure. Credits to my trainer who taught me that when I okay. trained to become yeah, an instructor. Was, yeah, so I've not, used it ever since. Yeah, the way you've done that is it's it's simple because you're not I think the worst thing to do is just like overcomplicate it to say like do this and do that. I think you get a good distance between you and the car, turn in just before or just when your back bumper sort of just past it or with in front of the car or the back of it or whatever. Yeah. To Whichever way it's turn in, it's actually fairly simple to, to get in. Mm. You made it look easy anyway. And what, what I was what I was saying on the manoeuvre is, during the manoeuvre is your uh, car control, speed, etc. Mm -hmm. is that good. You, get, you always give yourself the best chance to do whatever it is you're doing. Uh, yeah. I think. So you're at a real advantage just anyway. Even if you even if you'd come here with a, without a plan, you'd have had time to think. Yeah. So what do you want to do? I mean, there's nothing really I think could have been better. So, is there anything you feel could have been better? Are you, are you happy with the way it went? I'm happy with the way I'm surprised I'm here. <laughs> so, based on that, what do you want to do going forwards? I'm guessing you want to give it another go? Yeah, I think it'd be good to give it another go. Do you want the same amount of instruction or less help from me? I think... I think a bit less help and just see if I can remember it and if I don't, just say it. Yep. Um, I think it'd be good. Okay, will do. Um, I will speak up or take action if anything's detrimental to safety yep. at, any t at any point. If I feel you haven't seen it and I feel there ain't time to say it and for you to react, I'll just press the pedals or grab the wheel or whatever. That's fine. Um, but hopefully you'll deal with everything anyway, so. Okay. All right, um, happy to use the same reference point in front, van? Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, so. Reverse back a bit so I can. Yeah. Good out. plan. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to reset your mirror as well for you? So you get in the habit of when you're finished, put it back up, and then when you start, put it back down, and so on. Because you that's can. That's the only thing in my car I don't have. Cause I don't have electric mirrors in my car. Oh, so you've got them little things. Yeah. You know, in that one, what you need to do, you need to ask your passenger. Yeah, just ask my passenger to do Just direct them. Just say, you know, down, up, down, left, right. Yeah. Down down the thickness of a coin or something so that they know how to gauge it for you. Another coin, another coin, another coin. If you was on your test, for anybody watching who's doing uh, the, in their own car, and you have got those, the exact, it's in the guidelines that the examiners must help. You know, oh, okay. so if you took your a test in your car, you could ask the examiner, "Look, can you just put my mirror down?" That's well, absolutely fine. Okay. So, <laughs> so I guess we're not. I guess we're not yeah. using using the van anyway. So, <laughs> should we? <laughs> should we drive on, Jack? We're not very much luck, are we? <laughs> At least the parallel part was good itself. Yeah, well, we've done it. So, let's go. <laughs> All right then. So when you're ready, we'll drive on, and I guess we'll turn right at the end. Dinner, he was, weren't he? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. He's just got that hungry look in his eyes. <laughs> well, what we'll do, we'll take the next road on the right. You see where the red post box is, Jack? Yeah. Careful not to let it go too wide. Yeah, I was trying to find the lines, and as I sort of turned in, I went, oh, the line's back there. Yeah, a bit faint. Spot it a couple of car lengths earlier. If you look for it a couple of car lengths earlier, you'll spot it, and then you'll be like... No, I couldn't see because it was faded from the front. Yeah, I know, but if you if you start thinking about it and looking for it earlier, oh, okay. you as you're coming down the hill, you'll spot... Because you look at the end of one curve, the end of the other curve, and then you'll look and see, oh, there's the middle issue. Oh, there it is. You can just see it faintly. You just, Process of elimination, I guess. Yeah. Alright, use the purple car? Yeah. Yeah. Shall I pull up next beside it? Or? Pull up behind it. Because, uh, again, want to test your judgment really, moving out and pulling up alongside and see what you do because you can do this one by yourself, aren't you? Okay, so anything you want to go over or do you want to get into it? I think. I do forget anything. Just tell me. Tell you there and then. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll do that. I will do that. Then, yeah. Okay. When you're ready, let's go. It ain't too bad, you know. So, straighten it up there. Now put your full lock right straight on. That's it. It's 
Still looking okay, is it? Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to have a look backwards behind you. Could be a kid stood behind you or something, or about to cross. Yeah. Okay. All right, should we leave it there? Okay. Good again. We parked, aren't we? Yeah. Was it safe? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think you could have looked where you behind you a little bit more. Okay. It's early days in the manoeuvre, so, so I understand you're thinking a lot about the accuracy. Yeah. So sort of as I'm moving back, to not only look in the mirror, but to keep looking behind me, see if there's someone there. Do you know what I find works best? If you do sweeping glances around the car at all times, okay. you know, so if you, yes, if you remember that the main direction should be backwards because it's the way you're traveling but then it's really backwards uh, left side forwards right shoulder uh, back to the road ahead yeah. left shoulder back windscreen so one two three four one two three and if you do that all the way through the chances of missing something I think is virtually zero yeah because the other side is you could look backwards too much yeah, yeah. And if something's coming forwards, you ain't gonna see it. Yeah. So, you know, so that's, so I just think, yeah, add that in. Okay. Anything else you feel could have been um, earlier or different? I think when I said like, it was a bit wide, I sort of, I felt I sort of went too wide. Do you mean the one o'clock angle was more like two o'clock? Is that what you mean, or? Yeah. I'd or do you mean, do you mean like when you pulled up next to the car, you was yeah. too wide like this? Not obviously not I that far. Think it was. I went too far back. I think. It was. I would agree. I would agree. So let's say these are the two cars. Yeah. This is the. This is that car. Yeah. This is you. Tell me when I should. This is me. Yeah. If you were my instructor, tell me. Tell me to stop at the point where I should full left lock. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Bam. Let's rewind it slightly. Right there. Oh, so literally just literally just past I'd say. If you've got a like that that small gap there. Oh, okay. That small little bit's so just tiny bit past. Now, if you've got to get into a really tight gap, you want to steer at the same time as you level with it. Okay. Now that means the front end's quite close when it comes in. It will go in normally, you know, fine. Um but yeah. So you was tell me when you think you was. Were sorry. Yeah. I was probably about there. Yeah. I was quite far. Probably about halfway. Yeah. But you made up for it, you know. I don't think it was deliberate, but you did. So there were not the reference I shown you, and there's many references. You went to. I went. I I, I um, guided you to use the the one o'clock rule initially, yeah. but you went a bit further. Yeah. To something like two. So what did we do differently? You made our angle even sharper. So we came in sort of almost like crabbing almost. Yeah, like a really. So what we did was we didn't travel back with the tyres straight, did we? No. We went straight for full lock, which actually rectified that. So that's if you do go past the one o'clock, be mindful that you might have to steer right much earlier, because like you said, the angle's much sharper. Yeah. Two o'clock slash three o'clock, you you're gonna have to steer earlier, aren't you? So as a result, I think you did extremely well. So those are the things. But then again, if you want to adopt this method, you can. Whatever works for you. Yeah, I think as long as I'm off parallel park. Exactly. <laughs> the result. As long as the end outcome is accurate, safe, and under control. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So it's up to you, really, how you want to how you want to get on with it going forward. Do you feel you you check the right shoulder in time? What, before I came in? Before, um, before you swung out to one o'clock? I love these books for this. Yeah. You should get some little cars. Just too I've thought about that. I could get them um, with the company sign writing on. Mm. You can do that. Can you can, you? Yeah, you can get... You can get... Um, like mini cars. Little specialised ones, yeah. I think... I think what it was was... I knew I was turning left. So, I think my initial thought was just look in the mirror and not actually to check over my shoulder. Why is it important to check the shoulder? Obviously that shows pretty much almost behind you, not what's like there. 
Peripheral vision. Peripheral, yeah. Yeah. So you need a good old look over that shoulder. Yeah. Because the mirrors won't show you. They won't show you like, like you say, beyond yeah. this, the immediate. So, uh, so yeah. Do you think you could put those bits right next time? Well, saying that, you don't have to put the other bits right if you do that the same. You know it works. It depends how you want to do it yeah. going forward. Uh, what do you want to do? Is, is that enough for you to get on with and practice in your own car? Or do you want to spend some more time with me this week doing it? Or do you want to come back to it next week after you've practiced yourself? Or have you got another plan other than that? Or what do you, whatever works for you, really. Um, Sport for choice. <laughs> yeah. I could pick a mix. Hmm. Um, I think we should still stick to like a one week thing which is good because obviously times in between I'll be driving as well um, I can practice that um, in terms of things to practice um, what would you say? I think to follow on from that we should look at the emergency stop yeah. it's a nice one to have in your bag early on that one in yeah. case we need to do it just to have the experience. Yeah. Um, you know, and everybody says, oh, but if it was a real accident, I would. Yeah, but it's, it's a different thing altogether, yeah, I actually. I think it would be good to know, or see how strong that braking force is. This is, is it. As well. And getting used to the car you're driving is important. So I'd encourage you to do the same. Yeah. You know, to get used to your, uh, to your brakes and the capabilities. And sometimes, if might identify that there could be an issue. The day of is a new car. Although, new cars have recalls all the yeah. time. It's not brand new, is it? It's about two or three years old. Uh, it's 15, I believe. Oh, okay. Lucky boy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Mine was um, an s Ridge, which is 98. Um, what car is it? Fiat Punto, red. Uh, yeah. S982DDK, I think. Everyone remembers their first number <laughs> I remember my second one as well. It was a Peugeot 106 Quicksilver. It was T954RDO. Oh. Yeah. The last three letters of my number plates, uh, UPH. And my cousin was like unlimited horsepower. <laughs> yeah, in your little city girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need it. <laughs> All right then, so I think what we'll do is we'll head back over towards yours, see what time we've got left when we get there, and take it from there. Okay. So on the drive back, what are you going to be conscious of with your general driving? Uh, road positioning and, well, progress, just keeping out of mm. the road. Yeah, okay. And in terms of checking mirrors for slowing down, what's key to that? So uh, they get the mirrors. Centre mirror. Yeah, and what's going to be key to initiating that check? What's going to make you check that centre mirror, like you say? Because you're correct in what you're saying, but what is it that's going to make you think, oh, what's behind me? Like if I'm coming to, if I know I'm going to be slowing down or if there's a bus or whatever, I just need to know what's behind me. Yeah. It, the key thing there is it's not when you're slowing down, it's I might slow down here. Oh. I could slow down. There's a possibility, there's potential that something could happen here that it, it shouldn't, but it doesn't mean it won't or... You know, like that car, white car pulling out at a junction, for example, yeah. near the traffic lights in Borough Wash Village. Yeah, he just pulled out, didn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so I think that's it. And it drops help you with any of those things, or you'd be all right. Um, if I just forget to do them, just okay. note them. Will do. All right, Jack. When you're ready, drive on. I see you've noticed you've remembered to set that, reset yeah, that as well. It's very good. Get enough people that forget to do that, especially on test. You don't get marked for it, so it's not... Oh, okay. The examiners normally remind you, to be honest. Yeah. New trainers? No, I've, I've got loads of shoes. It's ridiculous. I got these uh, when I went to Dubai. Oh. Uh, must be 2015. Your feet don't grow 
much since then. Not really. <laughs> Roundabout will turn left, first exit. Yeah, because if we want to promote good mirrors, good mirror and signal time, and the instructions have to come early, so I'm consciously trying to give you early instructions. Yeah, onto your sort of like company. 
Oh, okay. So other so other people within that community can watch all the people's driving videos, not just the ones I post, for yeah, example. So you, you make a website and then they can upload their videos onto your website, and it's literally just a driving community for learners. Yeah, yeah, and you can, people could ask questions amongst themselves and speak to like-minded people, which is always. So I think because I think on mostly like YouTube. The only response you're really going to get like, is from the the person who makes the videos mm. and uploads them. Yeah, yeah. Whereas on if you're in a community, there's yeah, there could be a hundred instructors on there. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing, you know. On that, fa I've got a, my private Facebook page, and that's yeah, that that's sort of for that really. Okay. Um, currently got a few members, three, four members. It's growing, and yeah, so it's sort of like I suppose it is that it's just not a website, but you can upload files on there and videos. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a good idea, really. Actually, my mum got thinking the other day when you did she? Yeah, <laughs> what's she saying? No, just when you came over the yeah. other day. It's... No, it was good, it was a good chat. We had. Yeah. I love she's, talking business, she's good at her job. What does she do? She's a, an events manager at Total Gas. Oh. So she's. She she's knows, interesting. Yeah, she, she knows her stuff. What did she do before that? Uh, sports therapy. So massaging. Ah. So she's taking. I know that, somebody that does that. Yeah, she's taking that back up. So she really enjoys it. And she trained hard for. And is she doing all around marketing and stuff for um, it? I, I I don't know. I just I think she's going to go back to like school and everything for the sports therapy. Yeah, for the sports therapy. Well, it's a sports massage, isn't it? Really? Yes, yeah, sports therapist. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She's yeah. She's got. She's done loads of rugby tours and everything. Mm. She's been on the. I think it was, I don't know if it was a Welsh Cup, but it was definitely for an England rugby match. Yeah. She treated a few of the players. She's met Johnny Wilkinson and she's treat, treated him. That's really interesting. For his autograph. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, but yeah. Do you watch rugby or are you more football? I, um, I used to watch a bit of football. I tend to just, I haven't got the time of day for it anymore. Just sick of grown men. If I want to watch grown men dive on the floor and stuff, I'll watch wrestling. <laughs> yeah. You know, like not men that should be. They should be shaking it off. They're, they're just big pussies, aren't they? Really. <laughs> yeah. Let's face it. I'm not having it. I'm not watching it anymore. It's ridiculous. Well, it's easy to get a scratch and then just. I don't know how they. Broke my leg. I don't know how they self like self respect wouldn't let me show that self dignity. I would I would pretend I wasn't hurt. Do you know what I mean? Like that, and they'll go down. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But no, I mean, even if I wanted to, I would have got time anymore. The only closest I do is I play FIFA with, it, with my friend once a week. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I might I play it a couple of times in the summer. It's good exercise, good sport to play. I think. Very um. Like competitive, isn't it? Like sort of thing. I like yeah. that. Yeah, my dad used to play for uh, London Wasps rugby. Did I? Yeah. I'll probably end up getting into rugby eventually because it's more of a sort of uh, it's a manly sport. Like. Yeah, yeah, like proper gentleman sport sort of thing. <laughs> Had to breathe in to get through there, didn't they? Yeah. Anybody else going to do the same? Yeah, yeah. And are you alright with the direction that we're going, Jack, towards back towards yours from here? Isn't it one, two, it's the third exit, isn't it? Or four? It's third, yeah, straight on for city centre and then we're gonna we're gonna branch to for Utoxeter 
under the bridge down. Uh, you with me? I think so. I can point it out and we get yeah. there anyway. So it's right indicator, isn't it? I wouldn't, it's straight on. Imagine the bushes weren't here and the trees, you'd just <laughs> straight over. True. So like, and plus, it's a three laner. So if you're in the middle and you signal right, well, all these guys on the right thing. Yeah, they're all going over. Mm. I think you want to do a lane change. I enjoyed chatting to you last week at the end. Was I right that time in thinking that you hadn't checked? Yeah. Obviously, I'm not staring at you for all the time, am I? That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Um, like I keep saying in these videos, I'm gonna get an eye mirror. I'm coming off here, aren't I? You just stay in this lane. But yes, we are coming off and following this road off the roundabout. They're almost not roundabouts, then, that's the thing. Yeah. But they are still sort of. It's, it's a bit of a, so here it just opens up, so as long as we position to the right, anybody else can do the same. God, that was dangerous, weren't it? I wonder where it was going. It's only a two lane. Could have been a genuine mistake, or it could have been the other. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing though, before people, you know, before you get irate with somebody, you don't know, do you?
that big box on his back and that hat, I doubt he can see out of the corner of his eyes either. The thing is, though, I was going to pull over more, but that yeah, I know. just swerved They out. didn't think about anything, did they, other than themselves, unfortunately. You can see the way they're driving there. No anticipation. As to what you may do. So you did the best of a bad situation, really, there. I still feel we kept the cyclist safe, should he swerve slightly, do you? Yeah, I think, yeah, he was, he was doing quite well keeping where he was. So. Mm. It would have been nice to give him a little bit more, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I couldn't really off, because that guy just, person just swerved out.
hit it. car with him? No, the only time I've been in the car that he's had a bit of fun was against an M4 <laughs> and he struggled to keep up. Mm. I um, I really like the, the M series, BMW, so yeah, I do. Yeah, they're, they're nice cars. I think they just look very cutting edge sort of thing. And they're smart, aren't they? Very sleek, in yeah. The same, in, in the right colour, they're a smart. Mm. Looking car to look at. They do like a pale blue kind of colour yeah. with the newest ones. It's yeah. like a. Someone's got a tint of purpley in it. It's yeah. quite, quite nice. Metallic, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice. Right. I always spill my drink everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so. And again, how do you feel it's gone? Um. Yeah, it's gone really well today. Yeah. <laughs> You, sp you speak for yourself. I'll just keep failing. <laughs> um, no, it went really well today. I think definitely achieved what I wanted to, which is like be able to parallel park, which I think has gone quite well. Um, I think the maintaining of the speed on getting there. Um, no, what else did you think? How, how would you say? How would you describe anticipating hazards and checking out mirrors in relation to the fact you might be slowing down? How would you what, what would you say about that? Definitely think I've got better throughout the session. Um, so like the mirrors, and by now I might be slowing down or I might have to stop. 
keyword might. Yeah. Not when you're already doing it. It's yeah. too late then. Well, it's still better to check than yeah. not. But um, like to look in the centre mirror, slowing down, or whatever you're having to do. Um, so yeah, I think I've definitely got that better. Mhm. I would agree. Um, yeah. Parallel park. Did you already say that? Yeah. 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 Um, so have you got everything you need? Because I've got some print-offs if you wanted any sort of guidelines or anything. But I'll just go on your videos. You could do that as well. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Um, you could even sort of, as long as the engine's off, you could recap it as you're practicing, couldn't you? You could watch it, pause it. And yeah. As long as you're not doing it while you're driving, or your supervisor isn't yeah. watching it whilst you're meant, they're meant to be supervising you, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but you're alright with it, you feel like you know what you need to do. Yeah. yeah. No, I know you're sort of now where to turn in when your back's <coughs> alongside of literally just past it, the car. Mm hmm. And in terms of your goal today, do you feel that you've achieved it to be able to yeah, pull up? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And the carriageway, what are you going to be working on this week? Just to. And on the way back, it was all fine. No, I noticed on the A38, we're up to speed and we're doing it. But what are you going to be maintaining this week if you the do any driving in terms of that kind of driving? Speed and just reading the road. Yes. Yeah. Make sure I'm at the speed. Yeah, if it's safe, so that just have to ask yourself one, is it legal to do it? And number two, is it safe to? Yeah. I guess number three, is there any reason why you shouldn't do it? Mm. And I suppose that ties in is, uh, that ties into, is it safe to? The other thing is, uh, based on that, where do you think that's going to lead us to next lesson? You know, what, what sort of areas do you think you'd want to look at next time? I just, think you should. Go back over Parallel Park to see if it's still stuck yeah. in my head and learn to yeah. do it. Yeah. And then have a look at the emergency stop. Sounds good to me. I think it's it sounds such a simple thing, but I don't think it is. There's a bit more to it yeah. than you might think. Then yeah. You just slam on the brake. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's more to it than that. It's, it's more, and there's going to be some stuff in the, the theory side of that that's going to that, that covers a lot of theory questions as well. Okay. So we'll have a quick chat over that before we do it. Um, if you did want to familiarise yourself with it before next lesson, if you go on to Sharon's driving lessons, the okay. first lesson that I did with him, I think I even do a demonstration on that one. Okay. So you don't have to, but it's there for you, isn't it, okay. if you want to. And there's a bit of a talk through as well. So, yeah, I think that sort of concludes that, really. Anything you want to go over before we finish? Nice. Gone well. Yeah, certainly has. Well done.